Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is a requested uh, tutorial. I am going to do my best on how to show this hat, but um, this is going to be from this video inspiration and I'm just going to try to see if how we can make it. You're gonna need a five uh, millimeter crochet hook, a measuring tape, some yarn, and eventually some scissors. But that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm using this yarn, there's probably about like 300 to 400 yards here, or maybe a little bit less, um, but we're not gonna need all of that. But I'm just going to start off by pulling out my yarn here, and we're going to start wrapping that around our finger. So it's gonna go like this, and then we're gonna wrap the string to the back, and you want this a bit loose underneath that first spot there, and then bring this forward. It's kind of like a twisting motion at this point. We're gonna wrap the yarn that's attached to our yarn ball and pull that through. That doesn't qualify as one stitch, but I'm going to go underneath my little loop here. I'm gonna go underneath there, bring this yarn forward. I have two loops on my crochet hook, wrap around that yarn and pull through one, okay? So this is one stitch. We're going to be doing nine. I'm gonna do that seven more times three once i've done my nine i'm gonna remove my finger and i should still have the one loop on my crochet hook i'm going to take the short end of the string and i'm just going to pull that and then i'm going to put my hook through the top two chains on the other side just like so i'm going to wrap it take the end of my string kind of hold it over here because we don't need it wrap around like so and close that off so now we have our circle we're going to have to chain up two so we're going to chain one and we're going to chain two and then we're going to work into where we kind of are standing so we're going to wrap around and we're going to go right underneath where we're standing okay so that double crochet stitch is we're wrapping around we're going inside, we're bringing that yarn forward, we're wrapping around, pulling through two, and then we're wrapping around, pulling through the other two. So now we've, well, I have done three stitches technically, the first two chains and then two double crochet stitches. I'm going to chain two. What we are creating here is this top, this flat top of our hat. Once we've chained two, we're going to kind of skip two. So skip, skip, and we're gonna go into the third. We're gonna do our double crochet stitch. That's one into the same spot. And once you're done that, you're gonna chain two. Wrap around. You're gonna then skip two and go into the third there just like so. Then you're gonna chain two. And we're gonna try to fit one more in here. For me, it's one, two, three. So I'm just gonna get the middle spot right there. So I'm gonna get the middle, and that's where I'm gonna do my three double crochets. First row, I'm gonna chain two. And then I'm gonna weave into the side of my beginning, like so. I'm gonna wrap around and I'm gonna pull through all that three and close off that first circle. Literally repeat what we did. So chaining up two in the spot that we're standing, we're doing our double crochets. Once we're there, we're gonna chain two, wrap around and then count one, two, so we're chaining into this area, this third one here. Wrapping around, skipping two, and going into the third. This is gonna be, become a bigger circle. So keep doing this, and I'll meet you at the front here. My second row, you wanna just make sure that you're doing it loose enough so that it is more flat. You don't want it to kind of start bending up. That might mean that you're it's too, um, you're using too much tension. 
So it's looking pretty flat to me. Now what I'm gonna do is literally repeat the last couple rows. So making sure I'm chaining up two, doing my three double crochet stitches, and then chaining two, and then moving to the next spot, okay? A little tip here is that as I'm kind of doing my last row, it might get a little like wiggly looking and we don't want it to be wiggly, we want it to be flat. So if by chance you need to skip uh, more than just the two stitches, then do so. So for here, I had to skip three and then I had to go into the spot just because it's just, you don't want it wiggly, you want it flat. And by skipping some extra stitches, it'll make it more flat instead of that wiggly pattern. Okay, so I'm just attaching the beginning with the end for my last row here. I'm gonna pull that through, and then we're going to measure to see how. I'm gonna give this a measure, make sure it's a 6.5, perfect. So as you can see, that hit 6.5, and so this is wide enough for the top of my head. And now for the rest of this, we're literally just going to be working down, but the pattern's gonna change a little bit, so I will show you how to do that. So what you're gonna do is where we ended off, we have to change the direction. So what that means is we have to start going down. So for that to happen, we need to uh, change the direction of where we're going. So we're going to chain up two, okay? Wrap around our hook. We're not gonna go into every stitch, every chain here, every stitch. We're not doing that. We're just gonna face down so what that's gonna look like is we're going to take, we're going to, first we're gonna do our double crochets into the same spot. So we're gonna wrap around and we're gonna go through this chain here, but pull only on that bottom one. And you're gonna do our double crochets there. Okay. So that's changing the direction. And then we're going to chain two and then skip two. And then for here, we're going into the middle of each groove now. So we're not going into the top of the chains, so we're going into the groove, but we're still gonna have to go only to that bottom part of that chain to get that direction switched. So that's one, two, and three. And don't worry, this will eventually go back down. It's just cause we're stretching it right now. Chain two. Then we're going to do the same. So in the middle of this groove, we're going to take that one chain there and we're gonna chain. So that's what we're doing because we're working on it going to our foreheads and so forth. So if you do come to a part and you're like, okay, this is looking kind of wiggly or whatever, then just try to skip more than you would. So if I need to do it here, I will skip all these stitches go but yeah if you need to skip stitches then that's fine because we don't want this to be wiggly let's make sure that you're only going in the middle of these grooves okay and changing the direction as needed so now i've just completed my first row that we're changing our direction and i did have to jump over quite a a bunch of stitches just because it would have been wavy and we want it to be very kind of like tight and as you can see oops sorry and as you can see everything is standing up on its own so that's really good for this hat now what we're going to be doing is we're here at the front we're going to be chaining up two and we're going to be going in between each of these stitches and just working our way down each row so we're going here and we're taking into here and we're doing our three double crochets you'll chain two and then once we've chained two we're just going into our next spot here and this is what we're going to be doing for the rest of the hat so it goes chain two work your way in here so the last row that we just did is very essential to like getting the form of the hat but this pattern that we're gonna now be following, which is just three double crochets into one spot and chain two, is what we're gonna be doing all the way until you feel like you wanna stop working on your hat. You wanna keep going, but I'll still show you what to do once we get to the back, just so that we all 
are on the same page. I've made it to the beginning of my hat. I have just completed my uh, three double crochets. Instead of chaining two, I'm just gonna go underneath here, pull that yarn, and pull that forward. And that's how I'm gonna close that off. And then I'm gonna go up two again and repeat what I've done. So I'm jumping into the holes. One, two, and I'm just gonna try to see if this will fit my head because of my dreads, but I'm gonna see if, just to show you what this should kind of be looking like and how it should be sitting on your head. This is not the best, <laughs> but it should be like, if you're holding it down, should be facing. Just cause it's just a little bit too big, then you'll just want to make sure that if you need to skip one, you can just skip one hole and go to the next just to make it tighter. And then we should kind of be able to go as regular. See how it's kind of going in now? We want it to be tight. We don't want it to sit on our heads too lightly. So we might have to skip one. So I've just skipped my second one. As you can see, I've skipped here and I just went over to this spot just to make sure that this is starting to take its form that I need it to. Depending how you might want to take, do like maybe just one, two, three rows for the top and then kind of work your way down and then it'll already be tight. But the thing about that is that when it's already tight, it might be, you can maybe probably do some increases to make it wider, but I know for sure this is gonna fit the top of my head. I just kind of have to seamlessly make sure that this is fitting my head without it being too bulky. A slip knot border and then literally it'll be done for you to wear. Or you can do like my thumbnail where you can add some beads on the end and kind of make it all look nice and classy. Okay, so I've just finished all of my rows and I'm here at the beginning point. I'm just going to take my scissors, pull that through, and then I'm going to have to weave this in. And it's kind of cute. So I don't think it's exactly like how the video, I honestly don't know how that was done. Can't think of how that would have worked, but this is the closest that I can do it. It's not that bad, honestly. And then we're gonna have to add the strings on the side. So we're gonna add a string, some chains here, and some chains here. So I'm gonna leave my hook right through there. I'm gonna grab my yarn, and I'm going to just place that on my hook. And I'm gonna pull that through. And then from that point on, I'm just going to start making my chains. So probably do about like 40 in that string out that that's there. So there's one. And then we just do the same to this side. Strings, once we're done chaining, I just like to put a little knot as close to the chain as possible. And then I just cut it as close. And there it is. That's the best I can give y'all right now. <laughs> I am going with this design. So yeah, I hope this tutorial and feel free to share, like, and comment. And also you can tag me on Instagram if you make one. Okay, and thanks for recommending it. Bye-bye.